Hello everyone, this is Biohazard1987, also known as the Albino Rhino. Today I want to show you my Rhino loadout. Uh, I know you've probably seen him featured in some of my videos and probably curious what I run with him. So let's move on to the upgrade menu so I can show you. With my Rhino I focus on energy efficiency and speed, which is kind of a strange combination for a Rhino. But it's been working for me and I figured, hey, you can guys give it a shot if you got the mods for it. So. I'm going to work my way from left to right and explain why I picked these mods. For my Aura mod, I have Energy Siphon. This allows me to regenerate energy while um, playing a match. Um, basically, the whole point is to have enough energy to fire off my powers, which is like Iron Skin and Rhino Stop, mostly. Pretty straightforward here. Alright, moving to the next mod. I have Rhino Charge. I typically don't use this mod very much. I have it hidden here because it doesn't take up any points to use, unranked. And um, I'm hoping to replace this with a generic ability mod down the road when the um, devs decide to add it because I know they had spoken about it uh, a few live streams ago. Next up is Redirection. This is pretty straightforward for most Warframes. Rhino really is no exception here. This is useful to have, especially when your Iron Skin is unavailable. That way you can take the most amount of damage and hopefully your energy will be restored before you lose all of your shields. Next up is Flow. Uh, basically this helps me max out my Rhino's energy pool. This allows me to be able to, you know, continue to use my abilities without having to run around the map and try to collect energy orbs. That way I can store the extra energy that I don't use. Next up is Fleeting Expertise. Once again, I really focus on the powers here. I really like the power density. It makes my powers cheaper. Also, the downside to this really only affects one power, which is Rhino Charge, which I basically said before, not really useful. So, cleaning expertise in the end is worth it. Uh, next, I have Quick Rest. This allows me for my stamina recharge. This is useful after doing a long sprint or meleeing a, a lot. This will allow me to recharge my stamina quickly. Uh, next up is Iron Skin. This is pretty straightforward. Basically, its ability allows him to pretty much add another armor shield around him. So basically the armor shield takes damage, then your shields, then your health, etc. Uh, I typically use this power all the time. Uh, very rare would I ever never want to use it. Uh, next up is Vitality. I plan on adding two more ranks into this. Right now I just don't have the credits for it. So once I do that I'll put two more ranks into Vitality. This is another straightforward mod. Really useful when you get poisoned or if your shields are down and iron skin's not available. Uh, next up is Marathon. This increases my stamina. This allows me to run longer and be able to fight longer as well. With that max stamina, it's really useful. That way you don't run out of steam or you need to, you know, vacate the area if it's too hot. Rush, pretty straightforward. I increase the sprint speed of my Rhino. This allows me to get across the map quicker. And that's yeah, pretty straightforward there. I, I really am all about speed, which is kind of funny since Rhino is typically slow, except for Rhino Prime, obviously, is much faster than its vanilla counterpart. All right, and finally, Rhino Stomp. Basically, it's his ultimate. I use this pretty much as an oh shit uh, scenario. Um, I use it. I use it when the enemies are a little bit um, difficult. Uh, this, you know, basically either does a significant amount of damage to them, or, or if they're too strong from the blast, they'll stay in stasis, which then allows you and your teammates to finish them off while stuck in stasis. And that's about it. This is my loadout for Rhino. Um, if you liked the video, be sure to put a like, comment, and subscribe. Um, if you want to see other loadouts that I have, uh, be sure to leave a comment. And if there's enough people that have interest, I'll make another video. As always, thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next video.